Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we will discuss the profitability index. The profitability index, also known as the benefit cost ratio, measures the value generated for every dollar invested in a project. Now the first thing is why do we need to compute this profitability index? What's the need for it? Here's the need for it. In the real world, we have limited or constrained resources, which are the same. In other words, we don't have unlimited resources. We have a limited amount of money. We have a limited amount of labor. We have the limited amount of capacity, machinery, equipment, software, output. Therefore, we have to maximize the return. So if we have competing projects, which project do we have to, to select giving our limited resources? Well, the profitability index might help. Why? Because it's going to tell us what is the value generated for every dollar. And guess what? We're going to take the project that creates the largest value for every dollar invested. You guessed it. It's calculated by taking the present value of the future cash flows, dividing that by the initial investment or cash outflows. Let's. This is what we will discuss in this session in details. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Hello, my name is Farhat. You are here because you are either an accounting student, a finance student, or someone who's studying for their CMA or CPA exam. Great, you are looking for some additional help and we can help you. I strongly encourage you to visit my website, FarhatLectures.com. I offer additional lectures, resources, including PowerPoint slides, multiple choice questions in some circumstances, exercises, and true-false questions. Our material is aligned with your CPA review courses, with your CMA review courses, with your college courses. I offer a risk-free trial that you can try to find out whether my website can help you or not. If you find it helpful, you subscribe, you keep your subscription. If not, you cancel and your risk is free. If you like this recording, if you like my lectures, you would like what's on the website. Give me a chance to help you with your college courses as well as professional certification. I hope to see you on the website. Let's. This is what we will discuss in this session in details. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting by looking at the formula for the profitability index. The present value is what? The current worth of expected future cash flow discounted to account for the time value of money. That's the present value. Dividing this by the initial investment, the upfront, upfront cost required to fund the project. Well, present value of the future cash flows divided by the initial investment. Then we'll get P, I, profitability index. If the profitability index is greater than one, it indicates that the, that the project is positive, has a positive MPV, meaning it creates more value. How do we know this? Think about it. For this E to be greater than one, this the, the numerator has to be higher. So if this is 2000, this must be 1500. Okay, or let's make it 2000 and 1000. If 2000 and 1000, the PI is equal to two. Now, if we switch the numbers, if the present value is 1,000 of the future cash flow and the initial investment is 2,000, then we have something less than 1, which is 0.5. If it's, if, it's, if it's less than 1, it reflects a negative MPV, where the cost outweighs the benefit, making the project unviable. 1 implies what? Implies the project breaks even with no profit and loss. And what do we know about this? That's the IRR. We'll talk about that. Hopefully you remember. No worries. So what we do is we rank the project with this PI. When capital is limited, PI becomes an invaluable tool for prioritizing project. And here's how it works. You calculate the PI for each project. You rank them in descending order. Allocate funds starting with the highest ranked project until the budget is exhausted. Let's take a look at some figures. Let's take a look at these one, two, three, four, five different competing project. The initial investment for this project is 200. The present value of future cash flow is 220. MPV for this project is 20. The initial investment for the second project is 1000. 
the present value of the future cash flow is a thousand MPV is zero and whatever return uh, rate of return we used that's the IRR for the third project the investment is a thousand the present value of the future cash flow is 900 we have a negative MPV just forget about this project the fourth one the initial investment is five the present value of the project is ten dollars or ten million or whatever net present value is five the fifth project the initial investment is a hundred the present value of the future cash flow is 150 MPV equal to 50 now which project you will you will select if you are ranking which project you will invest money in well based on this picture alone you would say I want to invest in the fifth project because MPV is the highest but here's what you have to do you have to com compare the PIs in this project to allocate your resources appropriately let's compute the PI and discuss so for the first project the profitability index is how do we compute this 220 divided by 200 220 divided by 200 1.1 for the second project 1000 divided by 1000 equal to 1 third one 900 divided by 1000 0.9 we said this is out we know that we're not gonna undertake this project the fourth one 10 divided by 5 equal to 2 and the last one 150 divided by 100 equal to 1.5 now which one has the highest profitability index this project project 4 project 4 so what do we have to do here's what we have to do whatever money we have first we exhaust as much as possible of this money on project 4 why because in project 4 for every dollar we invest we get two dollars in return the profitability index is two so if we have five six project that 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 gives us this return this one here let me highlight it in yellow once again you invest as much money in those projects as possible you might have more than one so you can duplicate this work okay so simply put let's let me show you what I mean if I have indeed a hundred dollar if I have a hundred dollar to invest if I have a hundred dollar to invest let me choose a totally different color and you would see what I mean by this if I have a hundred dollar to invest I will get two hundred dollar okay therefore my NPV will be two hundred here now 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 four and five are comparable if I invest 100 in I'm sorry my MPV equal to a hundred sorry for project five if I have if I invested the one hundred dollar all in one project five I'll get 150 and my MPV is 50 now we can compare four and five MPVs because they have the same initial investment 100 and 100 therefore they are the same what are we saying what we're saying is this if you can find duplicate this project let's assume this project is in the eastern US if you can go to the western US and southern US go to Canada go to Mexico and open the same project and have a profitability index for two you keep investing all the money that you have as long as you're earning two dollars for every dollar invested once you run out of these options and you still have money then obviously you want to take this project project five then once you run out of project five you go to project one because it's still earning for every dollar earning one dollar and ten cent and if you still have any money uh, I would say I would stop there but this is how you would rank the projects what should you do now you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional MCQs resources whether you are an accounting student a finance student, or studying for professional certification Farhat lectures is always here to help invest in yourself study hard and stay safe